Well, I'm not say sponsored, but they've sent me a biggest, bunch of videos. The biggest pair of gloves I've ever opened. Not bigger in size, I mean, bigger in size. Striking the ball underneath me so you get more height. Hey there keepers, old and young, and today this is a video that's going to be a completely, well not completely, but kind of different um, to um, what I normally do on this channel. It's normally what I do on this channel is glove, review, glove reviews, glove unboxings, glove glue type stuff, glove glue related unboxings, stuff like that, or saves, and how to deal with kicks or how to position yourself during a save, stuff like that. But today we're going to mainly focus on the cuts himself. I don't know how most oh, give us a go like one of the best types of glove for me. Well, hopefully this video can help you decide. The various glove cuts and the main ones you need to know will be explained in this video and what they actually are known about. So what we're gonna start off is the flat palm, but sometimes gonna be called the semi gun cut. Now, the flat palm cut is a let's just give you an example. So one example is the Puma one IC goalkeeper glove whereby um, Bert Leno and Rudy Patricio and Petr Cech, for example. And about, this, about the flat palm, the flat palm cut is a classic and still popular cut to this day. And it's probably the style that most goalkeepers recognise across the world. It was one of the originals to emerge once the goalkeeper glove market began to develop on a flat palm cut. You will see that its stitch gussets are located on the outside. Um, outside, over there, I can't speak today outside versus the inside of the cut as you can see it's mainly just a oh stick area <laughs> mainly just a flat surface no like extra roll or anything like that just normal palm with the flat inside there kind of like a negative as well so i guess it's kind of a hybrid i guess but it's mainly flat with a bit of a negative stitching on the outside but other than that as i was saying the flat column you'll see that it's stitch gussets are located on the outside versus the inside cuts that are utilized negative Hence the reason that it's like this bulky kind of thing there. This gives a more looser feel. The core also consists of one single piece of latex attached to the back. By latex I mean the foam, pretty much. I'll just keep saying foam instead of latex, that makes it a bit more easier. The core also consists of one single piece of um, foam attached to the back of the glove with the gusset in between the fingers and the palm itself. An example for this glove, well I've already gave you that. It's recommended mainly for goalkeepers with like larger or a bulkier hand type if you get what I mean then second on the list we're gonna go to the this might be a very long video so I will try to shorten it down as much as I can next we're gonna go to the roll finger cut I know these gloves are extremely battered <laughs> they're very hard is the roll finger cut uh, example of these are the Roish S1 I can't even read that now it's called one. the Roish Repulse okay there you go the Roish the Roish Repulse S1 goalkeeper gloves uh, just, I never really did a review on these, did I? But because they're very old, I did that on the channel when I brought these gloves. Now, the Royal Finger Goldfield Glove Cut is one of the most popular glove styles around across the world, mainly in the Premier League and the Championships, stuff like that. Mainly, I don't mean um, Nick Pope wears them, John Rudy wears them. I don't really know if Jordan Pickford wears them. I think he's a flat palm because he's a Nike. I'm not sure with Jordan Pickford. But I do know that Nick Pope and John Woody wears them. It's one of the most popular styles gloves across the world now anyway. With a roll finger cut, the glove palm is attached direct to the back and the glove resulting in a rolled effect around the fingers. The obvious benefit to that is that you create a larger surface area and therefore bore to connect and have contact around this area of the glove. As you can see around here, there's more of a roll area on these gloves. As you can see the kind of like turn and the circular motion on the glove itself. Therefore, contact is great and also provides a slightly snuggy fit around the fingers than with the flat palm, which does provide a comfortable feel. Some may view it as slightly larger, bulky cut versus negative type gloves or flat. Most finger protection gloves use the flat palm anyway. Again, it's made for goalkeepers with larger or bulky hands. Okay, on to the next ones. 
Okay, next up guys is the negative cut. As you can see here, an example would be the Adidas Ace Trans Climber Warm or any Adidas Ace Trans or Ace or Nem or <laughs> God's sake, I forgot what it's called. Predator, that's it. Adidas Ace Trans, Adidas Ace, Adidas Ace Predators, any type of glove relating to Adidas mainly. They do do a roll finger cut, but mainly they like the um, the negative cut more. Now, the negative gold cup cut is another one of the new styles which have slowly drawn customers away from actual flat palm gloves themselves. The main difference between the negative cut and flat palm is that the stitching which attaches the platex palm to the gussets on the inside of the glove here, this little outside of it here. What was I, gonna, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Blah. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah. <laughs> The difference between the negative cut and flat parts is stitching which attaches the lightest part of the gusses is on the inside of the gloves, right here. This creates a very snug fit around the fingers and also helps to prevent the movement in the latex slash valve, i.e. the glove twisting which gives the goalkeeper a really solid feel for the ball. But due to this, gloves utilising this type of cut will slightly wear more quickly than the roll finger for example. That's hence why these gloves um, are battered to hell quite easily and these are mainly goalkeepers recommended for younger age or smaller simmer hands like me kind of as you can see there I'm on you size that's hell wibbly wobbly whatever <laughs> okay on to the final cut which I do own since I can't really explain more like the negative roll or the negative hybrid anything like that but this is mainly just hybrid cut my favorite the cells total contact is mainly the hybrid cut in general that cells do. Um, hybrid gloves are going to be Puma do hybrid gloves. Um, I don't know, I've just recently made hybrid gloves. Nike have made hybrid gloves quite a while back, but they stopped making them. And obviously, these cells by boys have been doing them as well. Now, well, hybrid cut is another style which is slowly growing as a unique twist um, to other gloves nowadays. Since I like, added us is making them, Nike are making them, Puma are making them. Because a lot of goalkeepers like different cuts. Basically, it's when the index and the little finger are made using the roll finger as a design, as, de as, a de as designed, as described with above. But the remaining middle fingers are cut in a different style. As you can see, there's a little. As you go up, you've got more of a roll here, as it's going round here. And you've got the thumb as well, which goes all the way round. As you've got there, it goes round all the way to the end of it there so it has a more of a negative and a roll and a flat palm because you've got a flat main palm you've got the roll fingers and you've got the negative padding inside the gussets as well by the gussets if you don't know what i mean it's like the but i'll show you with the negative the gussets are these things here see these thick like um coverage things here that's the gussets that means basically the side of the glove here so like here these like very small ones those are the gussets for these things here. These like paper, quite paper looking light things. They're not paper, don't worry. But um, yeah. It's described as above, but the remaining middle fingers are cut into its start, i.e., negative or flat or roll. The term hybrid simply means it's a combination, and to be fair, it doesn't really refer to a specific cut, the hybrid cut. It's more at these two or more cuts in one glove. Um, there's not really a recommended type of goalkeepers for this one since you have a different style of cut for every goalkeeper. So I normally use hybrid or Nick, roll finger. But out of all the gloves that we've actually got today, the cut that I use the most is probably like now that I use now is a uh, roll finger. And so I do like the feel and it's more comfortable for my type of hand. And since I'm a size I, I do get my Handing quite good. I know I'm not a bulkier hand like the negative, but I used negative before and it's a good cut, but not to really suit me perfectly. Hybrid was good as well, I liked using hybrid for a while. I recommend hybrid and roll finger for my type of goalkeeper hands. If anyone can use any type of um, cut, any cut is your choice. I'm not going to make you use roll finger or stuff like that. Glove choice is so important, so I'm glad I taught you guys about the glove choice glove cut and anything. If you feel like that I did not explain this and I need to explain in more detail or you want me to shorten this then please let me know in the comments and I might do a second video explaining as simple as I possibly can as I've tried to today. Now thank you guys for watching. 
Choose the right cut, click the notification bell to make sure you get notifications because YouTube is a bit naff on the sub boxes. Subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.